hello everyone let's provide the solution to this problem we have 2 to the power of 2x plus 2 to the power of x plus 1 minus 8 equals 0 now what should we do in this case we cannot add these two because the powers are not the same thing, right? So what should I do? Remember, this is the same thing as we can even change what we have here. So we have 2 to the power of x, then to the power of 2. So that if I open this bracket, I will be having 2 to the power of 2x. Then plus 2. Now here I'm going to apply another um, one of the laws of indices we have 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of 1 so if i have to deal with these two i will pick one of the bases to get this then i add the powers because this is multiplication right okay now this is minus 8 and we equate everything to 0 and this equally means that we have 2 to the power of x to the power of 2 plus 2 into, because 2 to the power of 1 is 2, then this 2 to the power of x is appearing, then we have minus 8 to be equal to 0. Now, the question is, what should we do? Now, let us say that 2 to the power of x be equal to y because we have 2 to the power of x in two places okay and when we have this it means that we'll be having y squared plus these two will come down here then into bracket this is y again because 2 to the power of x is y so we are having y in that bracket right then we have minus 8 equals 0. If you want, you can still have this in bracket because 2 to the power of x is our y. Now let's open the bracket. So we have y squared plus 2y minus 8 equals 0. And this is a quadratic equation. So we can decide which method to use. But trust me, I always use the um, formula method because I feel it is faster and easier but if you look at this you can decide to factorize right let's look at it two numbers will multiply to get minus eight let's pick four and minus two four and minus two because four times minus two is minus eight and 4 minus 2 will give us this plus 2. So 4 and 2 will work. So the factors now we have, um, okay, we have y plus 4, which is um, this particular 4. And then the next factor is y minus 2. So we equate this to 0. And again, when you have two terms to multiply, let's say you have A times B to get zero. So it means that it's either A is zero or B equals zero. So that zero times B will still give zero or um, A times zero will still give zero. So either of them that is zero will not change a thing, right? That is when you have it to satisfy. Now, we are going to apply the same thing as we say that y plus 4 equals 0 or y minus 2 equals 0. Now, from here, y will be equal to 0 minus 4 or y is equal to 0 plus 2 and then now that our y is equal to minus 4 what do we do 
or on this side y is equal to 2. Now here is what I'm going to do. Mind you, I have said that um, 2 to the power of x is equal to y, if you can recall. So the next thing to do is to put in the value of y. So 2 to the power of x from here is equal to minus 4. So y is now minus 4. Or on this side, 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 because y from here is 2. Now do not forget, from here now there is nothing we can do to get um, this value because no real number will give us this value of minus 1 if we put here, if we put it here. For example, 2 to the power of 0 is 1. 2 to the power of 1 will give 2, and it's not going to give negative. Even when you say 2 to the power of negative 1, it will give you 1 over 2 and not minus 4. So whatever that we have here should be rejected, right? Okay, so this has to be rejected. And if that is the case, I move straight to the other where we have 2 to the power of x equals 0. You can take the log of this, but that will be a waste of time because 2 to the power of x here is the same as 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 1. Because 2 to the power of 1 is 2. Now, look at this. We have 2 as the base on the left and 2 as the base on the right hand side. And because the bases are the same, the powers must also be equal. So our x now is equal to 1 because we have to equate the bases. And again, I have to verify. We are verifying to be sure that what we have done is right. But trust me, it is not compulsory that you verify. What is the equation? We got 2 to the power of 2x plus 2 to the power of x plus 1 minus 8 equals 0. Now, let me just verify it here. Now, this is 2 to the power of x. Now, it becomes 2, I mean 2 to the power of 2x, it becomes 2 to the power of 2 times 1, right? Then I have plus 2 to the power of 1 plus 1 because x is 1. Then I have minus 8. Do you think this will be equal to 0? That is what we want to verify. This is what we have. Now 2 to the power of 2 times 1, that would be 2 to the power of 2 plus, if I add this, I still have 2 to the power of 2 minus 8 and this is obviously 0 from the look of things because 2 squared will give 4 plus 4 minus 8 4 plus 4 is um 8 8 minus 8 is 0 so this is 0 therefore our x okay let's look at it our x to be equal to 1 is satisfying Thank you for watching.